back here with us on Overdrive with new engine and cutting edge features. The new Bajaj Pulsar N250 and the Hero Charisma XMR 210 provide edge of the seat entertainment yet cater to distinct tastes as well as riding styles. So we have uh, decided to pit these two against each other. Let's start off first with the design as well as the feature aspects. Charisma and the Bajaj Pulsar, it's a rivalry that is a classic tale in India's two-wheeler history. A battle that has spanned over two decades. These here are their latest iterations. From the design perspective, the Hero Charisma XMR and the Bajaj Pulsar N250 continue to present distinct aesthetics catering to different tastes, just the way their predecessors did. Yet again, is the Charisma with the more number of plastics. In fact, this time around, they've gone with a full fairing. But the design leaves very little room for crash bobbins or frame sliders. And then you have these mirrors, which look good, look very sporty, but they don't really fold unless you're going to use Allen keys. So that can become a bit cumbersome while negotiating traffic, especially in the bumper-to-bumper -bumper city traffic. And when you're out on the highway, you can cut a bit of that wind resistance with an adjustable visor. But the kind of concern that I had with it when I rode it for the first time, this button does get stuck in between sometimes, now that dust has started accumulating in it. The XMR isn't your typical sport tourer, like its predecessors were, and has a compact, sporty form reminiscent of the Yamaha YZF R15, which also happens to be one of its primary competitors. The twin-pot LED headlight has better throw and spread than the Pulsar, but its sophisticated design has polarized onlookers. The petal discs add to the oomph, and the XMR, like its predecessors, manages to turn more heads, especially in this shade of yellow. The Pulsar, on the other hand, sticks to tradition. It's a sporty, naked design. Yet, at the same time, it's a big departure from the design theme that we've seen on the preceding Pulsars. The single projector beam lamp, edgy and angular styling, and the absence of a windscreen underscore its fresh approach. And on the 2024 model, they've also thrown in new graphics. The upside-down forks, despite their slim 37mm diameter, add more meat to the Pulsar's design, making it look more imposing. The Charisma, on the other hand, looks lean and sporty. The Charisma is slightly heavier, likely due to its additional bodywork, and surprisingly has higher seats despite its compact appearance. But long-distance comfort for the rider is better in this saddle. Both the Charisma and the N250 have split-seat designs, but the Pulsar's rear seat is notably more comfortable for larger or side sanding pillions. In terms of fit, finish and paint quality, the Pulsar N250 appears to have a slight edge and you're likely to have lesser creaks and rattles from these panels compared to the Charisma. It reminds me of the early 2000s all over again. The Charisma comes with a smart-looking instrumentation and you can also get one with an eSIM and connected tech if you see value in it. The Pulsar, on the other hand, is still playing catch-up in this department. And the new instrumentation follows the norm with Bluetooth connectivity, telephony alerts and turn-by-turn -turn navigation. But as I always say, I would rather mount a phone with Google Maps for better navigation. And from that perspective, the standard handlebar on the Pulsar is more accommodating for a phone mount than the clip-ons on the Charisma. But as the points go, the Charisma scores higher in the features department for its smarter instrumentation and adjustable visor. Time to head into our final break here on the show. But coming up on the other side, we'll tell you which of these two commuter motorcycles you should put your money on. Stay with us, you're watching Overdrive.